hello everybody welcome back to my channel hope you're doing really well um, i'm sat on the sofa i wanted to do like just a little catch up really and um i made myself one of those whipped coffees that i used to make every time i did an update video last year in lockdown so like at least once a week i made one of these um and when i made them last year i only had a handheld like whisk like a manual one but for christmas i got my um electronic one and it's so much thicker anyway this probably really is not interesting to you at all however i'm excited and i don't know why but this is making me feel like good and nostalgic even though it's nostalgic of lockdown but then again back then lockdown was a bit more of a novelty wasn't it but hey i'm gonna drink this i think it's nice So I wanted to sit on my sofa and just have a little, I don't know, catch up, a little update video, I guess, but like a nice chilled one. Um, and yeah, I'm just in the mood to just chat and like gossip. I really want to do more like of my dating videos, um, but I've got like a couple of ideas written down here and um, I need to like plan them. I'm wearing a new jumper today and I got this from Tesco and it was in the sale section for £8, but it's a really like thick like heavy knit jumper and I feel like I wouldn't be that comfortable in it like if I was wearing it all day kind of thing so yeah but I really like the colours of it and I like the yellow mustardy kind of colours so yeah anyway I hope you are all okay um as you can probably see this is a hamster cage this looks well, like the end of it um I have a hamster um and I bought myself a hamster back in January so I've had her for about two months now. She's called Margot. Um, I got her the day I uploaded my last update. And I think in that video I ended up crying. Bloody hell. Um, I found the beginning of this year like really, really hard. Um, and I didn't go into obviously too much detail back then. But I, I found it really, 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 really hard. But I'm like all right now. Um, life's getting like a bit more back to normal I guess and I'm feeling all right anyway I was in this kind of thing I was like I just need something to like look after that's not just like me <laughs> so um, I went and bought myself a little hamster called Margot um, she's a Syrian hamster short head Syrian hamster and I didn't want to like um, it's so funny like I didn't want to say straight away once I got her because I thought like what if she like doesn't acclimatize very well to my house and like what if we don't get along <laughs> what if like she hates me or she dies or something and I thought let's just give it a while until like we've built our bond up a bit this is so sad it's like when you get a boyfriend and you're like um you're not going to tell everyone about your boyfriend yet you want to see how it goes that's like me and my hamster at the moment anyway um we um she's getting used to me a lot more now um and yeah so that's nice at least it's not just me by myself um i have a little hamster friend so yeah that's cute um i also i'm filming on this sofa i have ordered new sofas um from dfs and i was going through I'm just like blabbing at you, but I hope you don't mind. Um, I basically, I moved in here, what, three and a half years ago? More than that now. Um, and when I first moved in here, I thought I'd be here two years maximum. There was no point really putting anything into decorating, just buying cheaper stuff. And, you know, I'm renting and it's quite cheap rent, really. And I thought, yeah, I'm not going to be here long because there's no point worrying. So, like, really, I have black... I have the Ikea stuff that's black brown and it's only because um, I got a free TV stand that was black and then um, this sofa and the matching cuddle chair were um, being sold for quite cheap so I got them and I thought I may as well just have black furniture. Um, realistically I'm not going to be moving out of here anytime soon. I do not have any kind of like savings for a deposit on a mortgage or anything like that. I can't afford to rent a two bed place like it's just not gonna happen for a long time um and i felt like you know what i really don't like this sofa um and it's not my style 
and I found some like cheapish kind of velvet sofas on the DFS website there was a sale on um, and I thought you know what I'm just gonna do it and I'm just gonna make this flat my own like even little things like when I first moved in I put a Banksy picture up on the wall there and drilled a hole well my dad did drilled a hole then when my ex moved in a bookcase went in the way so we drilled a hole on another wall to put the Banksy picture up there then my ex moved out and we took the bookcase away and there's still a hole in the wall and he moved out in August 2019 and there's still just a hole in the wall like I need to just you know I want to fill the hole I want to paint like um, this wall like a different colour or put some wallpaper up or something or um, I want to um, paint a wall in my bedroom like a dusky pink colour the wall behind my bed and I want to get some prints up on the walls because it is still quite bare really and um, I want to make this more into like my home I guess is what I'm trying to say rather than something I don't really care about that much because I'm only going to be here temporarily um, uh, so yeah anyway I've got new sofas coming I don't know when I think it's like in maybe in like one or two months I'll have them but I've gone for a three-seater sofa um, to go here and the colour is called aubergine um, and then I've also gone for an armchair and a footstool as well um, so yeah I'm, I'm really excited to have something I actually like not that these are too bad really it's just black and grey but like these cushions have never been my, my style um, and then also this sofa is like a bit broken so I just yeah so yeah anyway I'm excited to kind of make it my own a little bit more like as time goes on like it's not a priority of mine to like change the black furniture to more um to other furniture I like that's not necessarily a priority of mine but I do want to like decorate it a bit nicer and stuff so yeah so that's my plan and I think as well like with my bathroom because I waited for ages um for my bathroom to be redone and I was like it's not going to get redone anytime soon is it and I don't like the bathroom so then I bought the stick on flooring stuff the vinyl stuff and painted the tiles and that and just made it like a bit nicer so I want to do that for the whole flat now <laughs> um I my flat is a mess I'm going to be really honest I'm thinking that um over Easter I'm going to do some vlogging maybe like weekly ones maybe I think um and I feel like one of them is going to be like me I feel like both of them probably are just going to be me trying to sort my life out <laughs> because I've got stuff everywhere um it's actually a joke like where my work laptop is set up for zoom behind me looks fine but everywhere else in my lounge in my bedroom in my kitchen is just a mess and I really need to like sort myself out um <laughs> It's just motivation isn't it and like time and I feel like at the moment there's been a lot on my plate where I was prepping some training for something plus I've been applying for another degree and something else and so like they were just like taking up my evenings and yeah so um, I feel like that's what I use the school holidays for is like once it's the school holidays I can focus on like cleaning and tidying my flat um, and the amount I talk to people and they're like what are you up to this weekend and I'm like oh well on Saturday I'm gonna do some tidy and cleaning people must think I've got a really tidy and clean flat but I don't it's like I just like um, I'm not keeping on top of it if that makes sense and then at the weekend I'm like right now I'm finally gonna do all that washing up that I have to do and now I'm finally gonna do this and that and then it's like oh but I've still got to do this 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 and this um and so yeah Easter will be fine I feel like it's while the pressure's on because things are starting to like open up and we've got this road map um but during Easter I'm gonna smash it so maybe I'll vlog during Easter um and like vlog me tidying and stuff it is kind of embarrassing the state of my flat but hey we'll see <laughs> i've still got a huge cupboard full of crap in my wardrobe full of crap on the bottom of my wardrobe i don't even know what's in there and it's like if i haven't it's all work stuff and i'm like if i haven't even looked in there in over six months to see what is in there then surely i don't need it so we will see um but yeah i'm probably gonna like vlog that kind of stuff and we've got our road map haven't we so uh, we'll see how that goes um <laughs> um 
I will say in the last like couple of days I've really been like right I just really miss dating and I know that's such like a small thing for some people I guess like to miss like it's like really that's what you that's what you miss and that's what you're looking forward to but yeah um it's been a while <laughs> and then I think as well like you start talking to someone during lockdown but realistically by the time you're actually allowed to date in person you would have gone off each other because all you can do is text and ask them how their day's been and there are some annoying people i was talking to this guy the other day on bumble we matched um let's just have a gossip about men why not on bumble we matched the other day me and this guy who was scottish and um i was like send me a voice note please um he sent me a voice note and i was like wow that's a lovely voice great voice um and then he just asked me how big my boobs were and um i was just like why why and he's like oh just tell me so i told him and he was like wow and then it was just so awkward and then he was like telling me stuff he'd want to do to them and then i was just like okay what can i call him pete okay pete calm down and then he asked if we could chat on whatsapp and i said mm, i'm not sure about that and he told me he had a video for me and i said is it a rude video and he was like yeah but i think we're past the point of being rude don't you oh oh i was talking to my friend um from work and like why are some men like that like, or like straight away they're like hey when do you want to sleep together or something and you know when you're just like really and i don't know like i'm literally not even shaming women who go online because i bet some women do go online just to find someone to meet to have fun with or whatever and, and that's cool me if i want to like just have fun with someone i'm gonna text someone who i used to know who like i know we already know each other we know how it works you know it's good like do you know what i mean like i'm not gonna start talking to someone random who i don't know and be like oh yeah come on then <laughs> maybe i don't know but i also feel like i um really like to know someone before i can like really like find them like sexually attractive you know um i'm sure that's the same for a lot of people like i've never had a one night stand because like you don't know them i don't know yeah anyway that's me so any man who's like that like it's just like well, i'm not going to give you what you want so there's no point i also find a lot of the time that some men are just i'm finding them like really boring um and but then also maybe that's just because of like how things are at the moment like everyone's really kind of just doing the same thing all the time i don't know oh, it's got really dark wow um yeah so i don't really have much to update you on like with men and stuff um there are a couple of men who i've who i have like been on dates with or spoken to who have um watched my videos which i find really awkward um luckily none of them are, are men that i've made videos about um one of them i went on like one date with like years ago um and i can't really remember much from the date and i don't really think there's much to talk about um, but he sent me a message on Instagram um, saying, um, I'm glad you don't remember much about me because um, I don't want to appear on one of your um, Let's Talk About Men videos. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> oh good. Um, and then someone who I went on um, a couple of dates with last year messaged me. Um, again like neither of these i don't think i told them that i had a youtube channel because i don't really tend to tell people like straight away um normally like a few dates in i will um and this guy was like i've been watching your youtube videos especially you to expose me <laughs> hmm. there was someone else but i can't remember who who else it was but you know when you're like oh, okay maybe youtube isn't really that much of a secret then okay <laughs> um but i just think you know when i've shared stories i've just told the truth and i also try and like be understanding of the other person and that kind of thing and 
there are some things I could say about people, but you know when you're like, it's not about, no one cares like what Sam from Winchester does in his spare time or whatever. I've just made that up by the way. Like no one really cares about that. It's like, it's not about exposing people. That's not what it is. It's just me sharing like stories of dates I've been on because a lot of them I guess have been weird or funny or yeah so um but you know when you're like oh I'm glad I haven't made a video about you then because that would be really awkward and I think as well there's always like something um some people like I would never do a video about um but also like some people there are things parts of the story that like are like personal you know personal information and I'm not going to share stuff like that I just share like the weird and funny ones and that kind of stuff so um yeah but I'm really running out of dating stories so at the moment I've got um I'll, maybe I want to do a story time about like my first love and how that went um because I don't know it might be interesting then I've also written down three men's names here who all had girlfriends that I didn't know about um and actually I've just thought of four because they've both got the same name um so that, that's a bit shitty isn't it um <laughs> and then I've also written down here these two aren't men who I dated but these are men who um were like creepy anyway I have to get back to work now because I'm filming this one on my lunch break um but I haven't actually made my lunch yet so I'm gonna go do that it's getting a bit like late for lunch really to be fair whatever time it is yeah um but I hope you enjoy this random like update video forward slash talking about men I think I just I don't know I think I've probably missed seeing the girls a lot and miss dating and I just want to talk about things um and it's in the only in the, like the last few days I've been like right I'm ready to like go and start dating again now when I was feeling really low at the beginning of the year I was like off bumble completely like felt like I just didn't want to talk to anyone kind of thing um and now I'm like right come on get the pubs open get <laughs> let's get out um I just feel like my life's a bit boring at the moment and I need something to like spice it up a little bit anyway <laughs> Um, I hope you're all okay um, thank you very much for watching this video I have got I need to like plan my let's chat videos basically um, because I do have one like dating one that I really want to film and there's a couple about like friendships and stuff and I want to talk about body confidence and what I've learned from counselling and just all sorts but there are things that I need to plan and think about on bullet point and stuff like that and um, maybe I'd like sort that out a bit more this weekend but anyway Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in a few days in my next one. Bye.